Right guys, I'm going to start by dismantling the carburetor, unscrewing everything I can find, finding what's what, hopefully come across a problem, hoping it's just going to be, you know, dirt on the float needle, um, because I say it was all pouring out the petrol, for me so it was obviously overflowing somewhere, the petrol's not leaving the way it should, so I'm just going to run through it real quick. Um, time lapse it so that you're not having to watch me struggle unscrewing stuff. Um. So this is the old carburetor and I have a kind of new one here and I want to just see if we have the same issue with the jet with how easy it came out because there is a bit of a leak because I've blown I'm in there and I am getting the pressure coming out of there so I'm just going to try that see what we get okay so looking at the new one it certainly does not come out with any ease compared to that one so that looks like a much better fit if you're looking at the gap compared to that one so I'm gonna Take the one out of that one, place it in that one, just see what I get. So I've just taken this diaphragm and float off the new one, and look how crud it is. Our plastic there. So what I'm going to do is swap it with the other one, it's much cleaner, all three as well. Swap the needle over, I'm going to put it in the one with the working type jet and see how we get on. What's up guys, so as you saw from the last clip, still having issues with the carburetor, um, the bike just wouldn't start, um, and at this point I'm running out of time, I want to make sure that I've got this bike up and running towards the end of summer so I can at least ride it, so what I've done just to eliminate that factor is that I've bought a brand new carburetor along with air filter pretty good doesn't it? Okay. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fit that, test it, hope that it works. If not, at least then I know the carburetor is not an issue. And the reason I bought a brand new carburetor was because a brand new carb rebuild kit came to about £25, give or take, and a brand new carburetor was 33 including postage. So I thought, stop wasting more time on the carburetor, buy a brand new one, already built, sort of plug and play, everything fits so far. Just gonna get it onto the bike and then we can try it. Let's see how we get on. absolutely no way I can fit that in there because of this there isn't one on ignore that there isn't one on the other side but however this stops it only just I still want it to look good so I can't get it going straight up because of the tank holder so besides getting a new filter which I don't really want to do because I do like the look of it I'm going to have it going down sort of like that but for me to do that I have to get this out of the way and the bracket that it's holding onto. So that's a job I'll have to do a bit later in the game. Where's the light in this place? Not there. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do this cutting, slicing and all that later on. I wanna focus on getting the engine up and running. I can run the engine without the filter for now. I just want to make sure the carbs running, the engine's working and then I can leave it alone for a while. I can just start cutting, getting the shape ready. So yeah, let's see if we can get it running. Okay so I've hooked it up to my makeshift tank. It's the syringe with the fuel line going into the carburetor. I've put enough in just to fill it up. Gonna now get the battery in, try to get it started. Neutral. Okay guys, where we last left off, I had the carburetor fitted, I tried to start it, for some reason it wouldn't start. Uh, recharged the battery full, um, tried that again, nothing, took the starter motor out, so you can't see there, see if I could try and just see if the starter motor works really. Tested the plugs, all that, just really struggling to find out what was wrong with it. So I just thought, when I put this makeshift shringe tank in, I ended up spilling a little bit of petrol. I thought, I wonder if that's gotten on any of the wires, you know, dirtied up the connectors. So I took all the connectors off everything, just gave them a rub down just to clear them. And I just started it a minute ago and it worked. So we're going to see if we can get it to work again. Is it 
turn it on. We're in neutral. Oh, we just ran out of. And oh no, I've got fuel still in there. Here we go. First time. 